A lot of necessary work to the 80-year-old warship might not have been possible without the help of one special volunteer. News 4's Ellie Tui introduces us to Chief Petty Officer Mario Roy. With that, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Paul. U.S. Coast Guard Chief Petty Officer Mario Roy receiving special recognition Saturday for his volunteer work aboard USS The Sullivans. As a fellow military member, I understand the value that's uh, preserving those ships and preserving the history that they represent. Many remember these scenes from last April, the World War II ship taking on one million gallons of water and slowly sinking. Roy says once he learned of the ship's damage, he knew they would need all hands on deck. And he's been volunteering here at the park for about 20 hours a week ever since. He has been amazing because he has painted, he has worked on electrical, he has worked on whatever we need him to do. That's why he's been chosen by the park's staff and board as the first person to board USS The Sullivans for the 2023 season. Originally, I volunteered at the park. I figured, hey, they'd let me paint something or scrape some, you know, scrape some rust off of something. But uh, they've let me do so much more. Just, and I, I can't thank them enough for that opportunity. Allie Tui, News Four.